Kike, thanks for taking the time to be with us today. You know a little something about what it's like to be on a first place team, which is exactly where your Red Sox are right now. What's allowed you guys to play so well so far? Um, I mean, a little bit of everything. Um, we all know that our offense is, uh, is capable of doing some great things, but uh, our pitching staff has done has done amazing as well. Our starters are doing a great job of keeping us in the game, and then the bullpen is basically doing the same, securing securing the leads and keeping us in games as well to give us a chance to come back. And I mean, we're we're in first place, and and we have we have yet to play as good as we can, as good as we're capable of. Like we're not quite yet there, clicking as a as a team, and and we're still in first place, and that's what good teams do. Good teams find a way to win ball games when whenever they're not playing great, and I mean that's that's kind of what we've done so far. You guys are in first place, led by mm -hmm. Alex Cora, a guy that I know you are very fond of, a guy that you've known pretty much your entire life. Um, they're obviously from Puerto Rico. What's been what's it been like for you to have him as a skipper? Uh it's been it's been awesome so far. Uh, it's a uh, first time in a long time that I, that I can uh, communicate with my manager in my uh, in my first language, which is uh, <laughs> which is good. I don't have to to think as hard to talk, but uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 been great. Alex uh, Alex is, is is known for 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 his uh, for his baseball IQ and all that stuff, and uh, it's it's helping me become a better player. And have uh, have enjoyed I've enjoyed being being by his side for for these two months or so and uh you know guys guys love him everybody tends to gravitate towards him and everybody's playing loose because of him so uh you know he's done a great job with us so far and we're looking forward to to keep doing it one of the things he said kike on this show about <clears throat> a month ago was that he is responsible for quieting the noise. It's different when you play in Boston than it is in other cities. And he said it's going to take a minute or two for the new guys to perhaps realize that. What has been the biggest difference for you playing in Boston in front of those fans versus playing in another big market like Los Angeles? Uh, to be honest, the biggest difference for me has been the weather. And uh, <laughs> that's starting to change. So... Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I, I, I'm loving every second of it, and I am really looking forward to May 29th when uh, Fenway opens to to its full capacity. And uh, you know, it's that's when the games start getting really fun, getting all those fans back in there, and then and, and getting some adrenaline under us again. And uh, like I said, I mean, I, I knew coming into Boston that uh, that, that there was going to be some high expectations from the fans, and and. Uh, you know, it, it comes with it. It comes with uh, playing in a big market. It plays. It, it comes with playing in a good team, and I mean, that's that's what we're all here for. We're not just here to play baseball. We're here to play. We're we're here to win, and I mean, it it, it keeps us on its toes. You, you either perform or maybe you gotta you gotta handle a little criticism. Criticism, but uh, you know, it's it's been fun so far. It's been great, and looking forward for it to to warm up like it is now, and and playing in front of a, a full, full stadium. And you were a, a free agent after last season, obviously coming off a World Series championship. You had some options. Why did Boston make sense for you? You signed a two-year deal with them. Uh, it, I mean, it made sense because there was there were some openings. There was a, there was an opening at second base. There was an opening in center field. And then, you know, it, having AC as a manager was was going to be was going to be key as well. You know, I've known him since I was ten years old and. Uh, you know, we, we, we became friends through the years and, and he's, he's watched my career. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was looking forward to playing for him, playing a little closer to home now that I'm a dad, uh, you know, being away from our families from both me and my wife's Mariana's family, uh, we can be a little closer now. And like I said, I was looking for an opportunity to play and, and Boston had two, two big openings. And so far, uh, I'm, I've been the everyday center fielder. I went in thinking I was going to play second base, but uh, I've said many times in the past, I don't care what position I play as long as I'm in the lineup. And uh, so far, it's been going great. And we're in first place. Nobody expected us to be here. And here we are. And hopefully we, we do it all the way to October. You know, you do play every single position, but you do play all of them so well. In 17, 18, and 19, you played every single position with the exception of pitching and catching um, for the Los Angeles Dodgers. One thing I know about you is that you did truly say you don't care where you are, you just want to play every day. And now you have that opportunity. How big has that been for you? 
it's been great. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot easier to ride the wave when you're playing every day that, than when you're not playing every day. Uh, you know, sometimes 10 at-bats can happen in, in, in two days. And when you're not playing every day and, and you go like 0 for 10 or whatever, that 0 for 10 can last over a week. And it's it's a little tougher on the, on the, on the, on the head. It's a little little tougher to trust making like the necessary adjustments uh from one day to another when you when you're not getting consistent at bats and uh it's it allows you to do to do some a little bit of that when you are playing every day and when you're getting consistent at bats you're four or five at bats on a daily on a daily basis and um i'm enjoying i'm enjoying hitting lead off i'm enjoying having those four guys hit behind me that there's not many four guys in a row in a lineup better than the four that we have and uh so far, it's been great. So uh, I can't complain about about much other than than having to go on the IL for those ten days. That felt like a month. So yeah, you come off the IL though, and then you uh, hit a hit a bomb off a of chicken strip. Who I know that you uh, love and and respect, Ross Stripling. But you know, you had mentioned the four guys behind you when when you're batting leadoff, and one guy that's having. Uh, some career best numbers is, is J.D. Martinez. And I know that video is a big thing for him, but is there anything about his hot start that kind of reminds you of the start that Cody Bellinger got off to in that MVP season? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's a little different, of course, because Belly can, Belly would, you know, hit a ground ball to second and beat it out at first. And uh, obviously he had to play defense and J.D. gets paid to hit, to rake and, he just he goes to the plate, he rakes, and then he takes a little breather, and then goes back in the cage and gets ready for his next at bat. But uh, I think the most impressive thing about it is like not just the quality of the bat, because of course it's a big league, so he's an elite elite hitter, and you expect those things from from an elite hitter. But the the his ability to square up every single baseball that he like that he makes contact with is unbelievable. I and mean, it seems like every time he hits the ball, it's, it gets driven in the gaps. And it's been, it's been a lot of fun to watch. And, and of course, you know, being in the, in the national league in the NLS for six years, there's a lot of these guys that you don't get to watch and you don't get to hear about it as much. And I mean, our first up and our third baseman as well are ridiculous. I don't understand why people don't talk about those two guys more, but uh, you know, those, those, those two guys are, you know, hitting the ball as hard and as, and as accurate as, as anybody in the game. And, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun to watch so far. A lot of fun to watch playing alongside these guys, and of course, the Dukester hitting behind me. Um, <laughs> it's been a pretty, pretty special, talented kid too. All right. Well, they have a pretty good everyday center fielder. A team that is twenty-seven and eighteen. <clears throat> Kike first in the American League East. We appreciate your time. I'm glad that you're back off that IL. Best of luck the rest of the way, and best of luck this uh, weekend against the uh, Phillies. Thanks, Alana. Thanks for having me, and, thing, and it was good talking right. to you again.